But yeah, usually it's other things that attack locations in there. It's not, um, I think I have to go east again. Yep, gotta go eh, somewhat northeasty. But uh, yeah, usually it's, I'm pretty sure a lot of times, like I think ghouls come out and attack the area in there. So, which I really wish I, we did see more variety. It's like, kind of gets boring when it's just raiders or gunners or some shit like that. Like I want to see ghoul, or I guess super mutants too. But like, you know, I want to see ghouls. I want to see some cool fucking shit. Alrighty then, guys. Welp, it's time to fuse two internet historian videos together as now we go to the fallout of the Costa Concordia. What? Oh, shit. You know, when I said ghouls, I meant attacking. What the fuck? Where did these guys come from? Alright, I did not plan this. Hey, level up. Nice. Well, that's kind of cool. I have no idea what I was planning on doing. All right. I'll give me a second while I take a look at what I want to upgrade, but let's take a look real quick. What is our strength gets us pretty far. Then we had endurance, which brings us down to, okay. Okay. So we got the rad resistant one that we could get if we wanted to. Actually, no, this probably is going to be the best one to take. Death becomes uh, you. Any kill and bats has a 50% chance to restore your action points. I will definitely take that. That sounds like a good one. So, I didn't re... What in the fuck? Hold up. You hear that? Jesus, look at all these bugs. You lose. Nope, nope. Fuck off. You know, I gotta say, Vats really helps with, if there's one thing, you know, I know people give Vats shit, but... Well, they, they give the fact that Vats is, Vats is kind of an easy mode, but if there's one thing it definitely helps with, it's with the fucking bugs. Those guys are... Because of how sporadic they are, they're definitely like one of the worst enemies to fight. Anyway, I do wonder, is like this whole area gonna be under... Like a huge issue? Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I will kind of squeeze over here a bit just to get the thing for it, because this is like a whole... Okay, there's Meyer Lurks over there. But anyway, this is like a whole area. You can actually uh, take this as one of your bases at some point. Anyway, Warwick Homestead. I am not going to worry about that, but I did want to get the map location for that while I was here. Nice. Well, I kind of wish I had my armor for the, uh, oh. Okay, but I kind of wish I had the armor that helped with the, <laughs> the Meyer Lurks now, some extra defense. Actually, Meyer Lurk meat will be great for the session where I do decide to do the one thing. So anyway, this is the wreck of the FMS Northern Star. And it's definitely the wreck of a boat. I do kind of wonder, like obviously I don't, I don't even know if the developers know when they're making this or they just made this a wreck, but uh, I'm curious whether or not this was a crash of the boat that like, let's say the radiation killed everybody. So then the boat ran into something or if uh, somebody did make it to at least land here, but probably didn't survive much longer after that. It's hard to say, because not everybody died on the, uh, you know, right away. Even people who are above ground. Got a fusion core out of it, though. That's nice. The only one fusion core out of all these. <laughs> like, I get it. They're not going to give you 100 million fusion cores. But still, I you know, I think it's a little bit, uh... You know, maybe a second one would be kind of nice. Okay, that's definitely not fucking freaky at all. Game, please don't trap me. I don't need this. There's got to be a way to get up there somehow. Oh, here's that. Can I... Nope. Sadly, this isn't Doom or... Uh... I'm trying to think. What's a good example of something that lets you... Uh... 
Oh, there are ghouls up board. Okay, okay. Well, I think that probably explains that then. It's probably ghouls up there then that, uh, so they probably didn't live. So they probably just turned, they probably all died from radiation and either the, actually, no, that's hard to say. Because I don't, because dying from radiation doesn't turn you into a ghoul. You have to be affected by radiation long enough to become a ghoul. If, if I'm correct. I, I gotta admit there, the creaking's definitely unsettling. You know, but... Why didn't... Wait, no, there's raiders? What? And I've never seen one of those things pop rads in my face before. What the hell? That's weird that it's raiders. Oh, jeez. Rad's up the wazoo. You know, I am curious. You know what? I am actually going to go over here just to see if the quest they want me to do is this one. Well, no, I guess... No, you know, I'm not going to do that. You want to know why? Because they're probably just going to, you know, do a whole... Okay, I walk out. I walk back in. Oh, man, thanks for doing the quest for me. Appreciate it. Unless for some reason a glitch happens. But if, if that happens, then I'll just fucking reload from a save. Mm, you know what? Oh, jeez, yeah. You know what? These are probably going to be like the raider ghouls. Actually, no, probably not. I think that was something they added for, uh... Oh, jeez, that, that was a good screaming, damn it. Not gonna lie. Okay. Just gonna squeeze through here. Okay, finally up board. But no, I swear that they only had that for the vault, the area outside of Vault 88. Oh, okay, so it looks like the raiders did get to them. Interesting. Yo, what the fuck? They're speaking German. Okay, no, this is the, this is, uh, ghoul raiders. Interesting, okay, okay. Pretty sure that's German anyway. Kablooey. Oh, rags. Okay, okay. I'm guessing... Wait, did I say German or Russian? I meant to say Russian. I think that's Russian. I'll have to... I'll, I'll put it on screen right now if... Uh, if I remember as I'm going through these to... Well, I mean, I, I look through all my footage. I just have it sped up. <laughs> I usually speed it up by like one point, by like 25 to 50%, just so I can uh, very quickly get through these. Which is important. It makes the editing go by a lot better. No, not what I wanted. Where is it at? Oh, I know. There we go. Okay, cool, cool. Ooh, tales of a junk town turkey. Sorry, J tales of a junk town jerky vendor. Ugh. Never thought that would be a damn uh, a tongue twister. Ah, yes. <laughs> Jump in front of the machine gun and then reload. I don't know if you guys know this, but that that is a that is a master strategy that I have involved with. It's very it's very unique. A lot of people don't know about it. Damn, you just pick up the wildest fucking guns, man. Hey, can you get the fuck out of the way? Now look, 
you said you didn't want to be my girlfriend so if that's the case then why do you want why, why do you keep blocking me and having me rub up against you it just 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 seems a little counterintuitive in my mind you know Needed to get some more Rad X. That's weird that the cans like activated the things like staring at you. It just seems kind of dumb. Could you imagine getting caught by something like this? Like I know that's not in the game, but could you imagine like, oh wow, there's some goodies in here, and as soon as you walk in, it like just fucking traps you. And I can't tell what would be. <sighs> no, no, yeah, I mean. If the raiders weren't so savage, I'd probably ask a question whether it would be better if you got stuck in there and then starved to death, or if it'd be better if they, the the raiders had a, their hand at you. The problem is, is that the raiders are fucking, you know, as we know, the raiders, they're awful. They would, they would torture you in the worst ways possible, so it makes more sense that you, uh, you don't do this. Anyway, terminal expert. Question is, will this be in a different language? Error. What? Haven't had, uh, haven't had, uh, any time recently to do my, uh, expert hacking skills. Yes. Hey, unlocking, which was... <laughs> It's a terrible name, but no, I was really hoping for, uh, pretty sure the, no reason to deactivate anything, but I was really hoping for something that was in German. Actually, should the passwords be in German? Sorry, not German. Russian. I'm, I keep meaning to say Russian. Please tell me that's Kate. Yes, that is. Okay. <laughs> Why the fuck am I staring at her feet? It's a little, it's a little weird. Feet spotted. Can I please get through here? Please don't tell me I'm fucking stuck. Game. Game. All right, I'm legitimately stuck. I have to TLC my way out of here. TCL, my bad, my bad. Okay. Just do right here. I do not like doing console commands, so that, that very much annoys me. Hit that motherfucker at the, the wrong angle. Alright, now we need to find this bobblehead. And if you're curious, I don't think I brought it up at this point, this is the agility bobblehead. Maybe a little bit of extra speed would have gotten me out of that situation. Technically, the bobblehead helps with sneak, so, uh, that's, uh, can't throw it off the table entirely since I was trying to crouch underneath the fucking spot. I like, though, that the game decided to put something in the way, like, put an invisible barrier to prevent you from getting stuck, but it just prevented me from getting loose. It's like, thanks, game, appreciate it. I picked up cigarettes, and that's what she said. I, I don't I don't remember her hearing that before, but that's kind of funny. She's like, look, I'm not here just for nicotine. Who do you who do you take me for? Oh, nope, here it is. Oh, I see. This is what it means. Bingo. I got stuck on the thing, and I wasn't looking. But anyway, agility has been permanently increased by 0, 1. Ugh, it's very necessary. I said 0, 1. Hey, that's right. Here's the thing. Well... Uh, uh, oh god, okay. Alright, Kate, uh, you, you have some excitement on the end of the road on that one, and uh, I'll be heading while there's nice clean water, hopefully. And if not, I'll give them some clean fucking water. Or no, they I'll force them to give me clean, I don't know what I was saying there. <laughs> I'll force them to clean the water for me, that's right. Soak it up and spit it back out until it's filtered. That's exactly how filtration works, right? God, I hope so, or else this looks weird. Uh, Kate? 
Yeah, Kate. <laughs> I was not ready for this. Oh, come on, guys. I'm sorry, but things are difficult right now. What's difficult? Hey. Got a few things for trade, if you're interested. Lord knows it wasn't always that way. Sounds like you've been through some tough times. Yeah, some super mutants came through and tore the place up. We damn near starved to death. Anyway, things are better now. Just look at the place. We've got everything we need. I'll say this. If you want to start up a farm out here, you better be ready to fight for it. I do have to say, I'm glad you're able to find lipstick in the post-apocalypse, because it, it looks great on you. Mwah. Good good stuff, good stuff. Uh, uh, I'm not really the farming type. I don't blame you. The days are long and you're sore pretty much around the clock. But you know, it's not so bad once you get used to it. How about you? Got any family yourself? Oh, that's a touchy subject. <sighs> Do I be mean? Maybe I should be mean. Do you always ask such personal questions? I'm sorry, I don't mean to pry. Roger used to say I was too friendly for my own good. See, now I feel like a dick. Oh my god. Well, you should be. It's pretty damned insensitive. You're absolutely right. Let me make it up to you, okay? No. <laughs> Take this. I think I've embarrassed myself enough for one conversation. I did enjoy talking with you, though, and I hope you'll visit again. Take care. She really is friendly. Oh my god, I feel like the biggest dick on the damn planet. Got a few things for trade, if you're interested. Lord knows it wasn't always that way. Let's see what you have. All right. Uh, we got some shit we can sell, probably. Okay. What do you have to say? Mysterious friends, huh? Hmm. <clears throat> you ain't earned my trust, but we got nothing to talk about. Yeah, fuck you. I don't think I've seen you around here before. You new to these parts? Uh, sort of. It's complicated. Well, that's none of my business. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why set up a farm at a place like this? Ghouls, ghoul like raiders. And there's that smell. But that's the thing. See, this used to be a sewage pipe. And you're farming here? Soil and the Commonwealth. Oh, okay. Under our feet. It. No, I'm pretty sure human feces shouldn't be used as. Uh... Oh, I mean, I guess it's unless it was specifically used for that. I don't care how fertile the soil is. This place reeks. Reeks is too kind a word. Ugh, it's absolutely disgusting. Yeah. But you get used to it. Besides, it keeps the wild animals and the raiders away. I have to admit, I feel lucky to even be having this conversation. We fell on some hard times not long ago. A pack of super mutants hit us and wrecked our entire crop. Used to be the Minutemen would have helped us out, but last I heard, they were too busy fighting each other to worry about us farmers. So we were on our own. All of us starving, near to death. No man should have to watch his wife and children suffer. You know what I mean? <sighs> Damn, bro, you you asking the you asking the very personal questions. It could be worse, pal. My wife is dead, and my son is missing. Oh God, I'm so sorry. I can't imagine what you must be feeling. Anyway, feel free to have a look around. Yeah. We got some stuff for trade, if you're interested. My wife, June, handles that. The kids are Jamie and Wally. They're always curious about visitors, but they should stay out of your way. It's been real good talking to you. I hope you'll come see us again sometime. You know, these guys are way too nice for people who should obviously realize they're Project, slavers in the world. With elbow grease, you can achieve just about anything. June's a heck of a cook. I feel no shame in admitting that's half the reason I married her. Oh, jeez. Another one of Roger's mysterious friends, huh? Hmm. Mom and Dad used to be so much happier. <clears throat> Got nothing to say to you, stranger. Hey. Things are so messed up around here lately. Jeez, what the fuck? What did I walk into? I'm sorry, but things are difficult right now. There are they? Anything else around here? I wanted to bring up the Minutemen were back so we could, uh, 
pop up and discuss something. Though, are you still out here? Everyone used to be sick and hungry. I was scared we were all gonna die. Jeez, I really went through some tough shit. Now I feel like the asshole. So yeah, this place can uh, become your settlement, and uh, it, it you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. Um, I definitely built like a huge area where like uh, had an elevator here. Like the, I think I had my biggest elevator here where I had multiple floors and stuff. Again, I never made anything that was like super interesting. I just kind of had uh, basic stuff I did everywhere. Some days when the bay breeze is strong, you can almost forget this place was a sewage plant. Mr. Warwick. A good life we got here. All right, well, I guess I missed my chance of talking about the Minutemen. Hey there. Got a few things to trade, if you're interested. I'm gonna see if I can get this out of her. Sounds like you've been through it. Yeah, some... Anyway, I'll say this. It... Why not hire some guards? Even if we could feed Bunk and pay them, we'd still have to... Hmm? When it comes to protecting... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to skip these, this Robert part. And I need to be sure. How about you? Got any family you sell? I used to, but not. Oh, yet. that sad oh, fucking sorry. face. I probably shouldn't have asked. I hope I haven't reopened any old wounds. You did, bitch. <laughs> well, you should be. It's pretty damned insensitive. You're absolutely right. Oh, no, you not this you. again. I think I've embarrassed. I did enjoy talking with you. Okay, she didn't actually give us stuff again. God, I would have felt horrible. All right, well, uh, hopefully I didn't fuck myself out of getting this place for the minute. I'm sure it'll show up on a list sooner or later. But if you want to see something a little interesting... You can do some looking around. And on one thing, you'll find... Oh no, maybe it's not here yet, okay. I know at some point something kind of appears around here and it's kind of, uh, kind of interesting. God, this kid does nothing but fucking help around the place. Got nothing to say to you, stranger. I'm sorry, but things are difficult right now. All right, I'll just let this stew for a bit. I'm sure we'll come back here later and do stuff. And if we don't, then whatever, I don't care. <laughs> I'm I'm not as focused about doing as much of with Fallout 4 as I had beforehand. So, I mean, I know I'm not going to hit, like, every quest in the game. So I'm not, like, super, oh, no, I need to get this done now or anything like that. So, but anyway, no, I, th I think today's been a successful session. We got three of the bobbleheads out of the way. I'm going to go put those on our little bobblehead rack. And then after that, yeah, we're going to call it quits. I don't know what I'm going to do next time. I don't think I'm going to jump into my next three bobble heads, possibly. But maybe I'll do the quest that I wanted to do. But I will make sure to turn on the high quality. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of little low quality type stuff. Again, it, it's not terrible by any means. It still looks better than, you know, what the previous uh, Fallout games look like. And again, that's nothing, you know, that's nothing against uh, 3 and uh, New Vegas. Just that it's... Uh, there you go. Just a little bit more uh, complicated than that. Yep, there we go. Sadly, I wish these were in order instead of the place that you put them. I don't know why, it just doesn't feel like it, like... Oh no, is this it? No, this is... Yeah, this is correct. Endurance, agility. No, yeah, explosive. Yeah, explosive doesn't belong next to that. I don't know. That's weird. Okay, cool. So anyway, I do hope you guys have enjoyed uh, today's session. Yeah, next time I think I'm going to do what I was going to do this time until I decided to go on a little hiatus. So yeah, but hopefully you guys enjoy this session now that we're back into the game again. And next time we're going to be, uh, we're going to definitely be having uh, some fun as a superhero. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, if you know what I'm talking about. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will catch you guys next time. This is Mike the II, signing out. Take it easy, guys.